Stephen already is ready to go. Hi Prem, how are you? I'm good, Tessa. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, I will switch my camera off and we'll hand over to you. And then, as I say, guys, please feel free to post your questions and I'll ask those on your behalf at the end of Prem's session. So over to you, Prem. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. All right. A very good day, everyone. Uh, my name is Prem Maheshwaran. I'm an ITism evangelist from Manage Engine. So I work with the product management support and the marketing teams to make your ITSM investments, uh, you know, get better uh, outputs. So today I'm going to talk about how you can make your service desk wholesome, your ITSM wholesome with the help of Service Desk Plus. So just like how a wholesome meal can nourish your body, we need multiple aspects that has to be given attention to in IT service management. So before I go into the discussion, I'd like to talk a little bit about Manage Engine. So for those who are new to Manage Engine, I'd like to introduce my organization. So it is the Enterprise IT Management Division of Zoho Corporation. We are a private bootstrapped and a profitable company from the beginning. Our parent organization, Zoho Corporation, has three divisions. Zoho.com is the cloud uh, venture of Zoho, Cor Zoho Corporation. So under this, we develop application for businesses, collaboration, and productivity. Manage Engine is the enterprise IT management solutions wing. Under this umbrella, we have developed more than 90 plus products and fee tools. Our first line of business is Web NMS. It's a telecom management framework, which later got changed into an IoT management framework. Manage Engine has 18 plus years of IT management solution expertise. We have got about 180,000 customers across the globe. 2,500 employees get it dedicated for Manage Engine, 90 plus products and free tools, and our footprint is in more than 190 countries. Manage Engine is not just a company which develops service desk software. We try to cover the entire IT infrastructure spectrum. So we've got different divisions under which we develop point products for various uh, problems. So we have got IT service management under which we develop Service Desk Plus, an MSP version of Service Desk Plus, and also a customer support tool. Under the division Unified Endpoint Management, we develop software for managing our desktop, mobile devices, deploying operating system and software, providing remote desktop support, and also provide browser security. IT security management is another division under which we have developed products for analyzing your logs, firewall, endpoint device security, and also ensure regulatory and privacy compliance. Identity and access management solutions offered by Manage Engine will let you control your Active Directory and Azure AD and manage it. It also can provide single sign-on for on-premises and cloud applications with multi-factor authentication. IT operations management is one of the oldest software from Manage Engine under which we have developed applications for monitoring your entire IT infrastructure and various aspects of it. All these solutions generate a lot of data. These are multiple data points that has to be converted into meaningful information. And to do that, we have also got an analytic solution. So under which we have got two products with which we can get the data from multiple data points and convert it into dashboards and uh, meaningful information. So that's about the entire spectrum of Manage Engine. Service Test Plus is the idle ready help desk software with integrated asset and project management capabilities. So it has got advanced functionalities with easy to use interface. There are about 100,000 service tests in implementation across 185 countries and it is trusted by all our customers. So the first feature that I want to highlight about Service Test Plus is Enterprise Service Management, all right? So with Enterprise Service Management, you can now cross the boundaries of IT service management and share the best practices of ITSM to non-IT departments. So that is the idea behind developing Enterprise Service Management in Service Test Plus. 
we took a very simple explanation uh, for uh, ESM. All we wanted to do is bring together all the teams under one roof. So that's what we try to achieve in our first cut. So we have given instances within one application. Using these instances, you can immediately provide a service desk for non-IT departments. Any department that is piggybacking on your existing service desk can have their own uh, environment within the application. Meaning, every department has a different set of rules and regulations. They follow different uh, ideologies and also everyone has a microculture. So Service Test Plus is designed in such a way that the microculture of every department is preserved and also they get the option to configure the instance as per their requirements. Let me quickly show you how it works in real time. For this demonstration, I'm using the cloud version of Service Test Plus. Uh, Service Test Plus is offered as an on-premises solution and also as a cloud solution. So this is a typical IT help desk. From here, I can go to Enterprise Service Management Portal. When an end user logs into Service Test Plus, this is what he sees. So all the different service desks can be created as instances under one portal. And also an end user gets a search bar, an Omni search bar, using which he can search and find results from various department help desks. All right, and these results are fetched from announcements. So every department can make announcements, right? So under their service desks, they can make announcements about known outages and maintenance tasks. So if someone is not aware of that and they want to create an issue, now you can get the announcement and show it to them. And also you can publish self-help articles as solutions. In Service Test Plus Lingo, uh, we call solution, uh, knowledge based solutions. And also you can build different forms for reporting different types of issues and requesting services. Right? All that can be accessed from one search bar. Now, when I get inside an instance, all the configurations related to the instance is given locally, meaning the service catalog for this instance is separate. So someone from the facilities department can configure the service catalog and publish it to the end users. So everything related to facilities will be available within the instance. All right, even the categories, subcategories, service level agreements, business rules, automations, all that can be configured related to the facilities department. Okay, so every department gets their own configuration and also they don't have to rely on the IT team to configure this. They can do it by themselves, right? For an end user, they get a very unified experience. There is one more place where you can configure the administrative functionalities of enterprise service management. All the common resources of your organization will be placed under ESM directory. Here I can store the organization information. Users are common across all the instances. So we can import users from Active Directory and maintain them here under the user section in ESM directory. Service Test Plus also supports SAML and Active Directory authentications using which users can pass through into the application using single sign-on. To create new instances, you can go to Service Desk Instances. So this is where I can create a new instance for different departments. I can provide a name for the service desk, a URL that can be used to access, and out of the box, Service Test Plus offers three templates for service desk. You get an IT template, a facilities desk, and a HR desk. So these three come out of the box. So you don't have to start from the scratch for facilities and HR. Instead, you'll get something and then you can build over it. We can configure a separate time zone and also assign a technician as the owner for the instance, right? So after providing all that information, I can click on create to create a new instance. So sometimes facilities might not be uh, comfortable configuring the instance. In such cases, you can assign someone from the IT team as the owner. Once all the configuration is done, he can then hand over the instance to the uh, the uh, facilities team. 
And also licensing is flexible. You can choose different licenses for different types of instances. The ESM portal can be completely configured as per an organization's requirement. You can provide a different URL, customize the portal as per the requirements to give a look and feel of your organization's branding. And also you can choose a preferred landing page, either to go into the ESM portal or a specific instance. So that is with enterprise service management, and that's the first feature that I wanted to show you. Next one is Zia. Zia is Zoho Intelligent Assistant, an AI-based virtual assistant that you can deploy instantly into Service Desk Plus. So Zia is the brainchild of Zoho Corporation. We have plugged Zia into various products of Zoho.com and Manage Engine. Using Zia, you can talk to the application and get information and also perform operations. You can use chat as a medium and also use your mobile phones to talk with Zia using voice commands and perform operations and get information out of various applications uh, in Manage Engine. To deploy Zia in Service Test Plus, let me quickly go to the IT instance and I'll show you how it works. So once Zia is enabled in Service Test Plus, it will be available at the right bottom corner of the web console. So from here, I can access Zia and issue commands and talk to it. It can process natural language, so you don't have to worry about giving the exact commands. Instead, you can use plain simple English to talk with Zia. And there is an administrative configuration to enable Zia, which is under the setup page. So in the setup page, there is a separate section for Zia chatbot. From here, I can enable Zia. Once I enable, it will be available at the web console. And also you can control whether it should be there in the mobile chat and if it should work with voice, All right? You can configure Zia with preloaded actions. So we provide a gallery of actions that you can use. And also you can make use of your own actions. You can build your own actions. So we call this as Zia skills. So you can add a new skill to Zia, right? When you go to create an action, you can write your own or choose from the gallery of actions that we have already published. So when you want to write your own, click on write your own. So it can either answer a question or perform an operation. Under answering a question, it can give a direct answer or construct an answer by fetching data from Service Test Plus. And also you can, allows Zia to perform operations like adding nodes to a, a ticket, assigning the request from one technician to another, and a lot of different operations that are supported by our APIs. All right, so the third feature is visual workflows in Service Test Plus. So using visual workflows, you can build different processes for different types of incidents. And Visual Workflow Builder is available for incident problem and change management modules in Service Desk Plus, with which you can standardize service delivery across different teams and also provide a guided path to your technicians, enabling them to adhere to the processes. To access the Visual Workflow Builder, you need to go once again to the setup page. See, under the setup page, search for cycles. So we call this as request life cycles. So there are cycles for request problem as well as change management module. So here I have created different types of life cycles for different types of incidents. For example, if you'd like to manage your major incidents differently with a different set of statuses and process, you can build one right away. So this is a sample workflow that I have built for a major change. I'm sorry, major incident. So these rectangles are statuses that I have created. When I hover the mouse over a status, it gives me the next two possible statuses to which I can move the request to. So from open, a technician can only move the ticket to analysis or in progress, and that too with a condition. If it's a major incident, I can move to the analysis status. And if it is not a major incident, it has to go to in progress status. So there are different custom statuses that I have created. If I want to add a new status into this 
workflow, all I have to do is drag and drop and then reconfigure it completely. So I can work with existing processes and also realign the processes to work my way. Between two statuses that something called uh, transitions. So against the transition, I can now execute rules. That allows me to perform contextual operations and notifications. So I can mandate fields before a status change and also execute rules. So making use of this, I can execute automation actions and also trigger contextual notifications to different people when a status change happens in a ticket. These life cycles are available for uh, the problem management module as well. And also we have got one for the change management module, which is a little advanced. So in service test plus change, it's a six stage design. All right, so that comes a lot more uh, options within the workflow. For example, I've created a workflow for a major change. So the change workflow builder gives me little advanced options with switch conditions, and also I can add stages. So every stage has different statuses, and whenever a technician chooses a particular status, we can perform conditional operations and switch operations by building a new workflow for different types of changes. So this is a little advanced lifecycle for change management module. So making use of these visual workflow builders, the process of building new workflows for different types of incidents, problems, and changes is made easier. Okay, you can visualize, build one, improvise, and deploy it into the production. The fourth feature I want to talk about is custom functions. In Service Test Plus, you can even integrate applications with uh, you know, third-party application and homegrown application to perform last mile low-code customizations. We call it as custom functions. All right, so this particular feature allows you to write your own code right within Service Test Plus. Meaning Service Test Plus is preloaded with a programming language. To access it, you need to go to the setup page and there is a separate developer space through which you can access different developer configurations. So custom functions is right there. Using the custom functions, I can now write my own code within Service Test Plus. And that is a proprietary programming language offered by Manage Engine. We call it as Deluge. Now it's made easier. Anyone who is comfortable with JavaScripts can also make use of this programming language to provide integration between third-party applications and Service Test Plus, and also to send data to different uh, modules within Service Test Plus and automate your process. The fifth feature is integration options available out of the box from Service Test Plus. So under the setup page, there is a separate section for apps and add-ons. Here we provide integration with third-party applications that are very common like Outlook, Azure, Jira, Zapier, etc. And the details section here will show you what you can do once the integration is enabled. So that will allow you to work from one tool and perform operations in various third-party products as well. And the final uh, option that I want to show you is advanced analytics. So Service Test Plus offers a lot of reporting options through the form of analytics. So under the home page, you get a dashboard and dashboard gives you quick insight about your help desk, uh, you know, your asset change problem, even the software that you use. So as soon as I go to the dashboard, it gives me insights about how compliant you are with software usage and for different uh, manufacturers of software. So if you want to know your compliance standards for Microsoft products, you can quickly get it from the dashboards. There is a detailed reporting options available out of Service Test Plus, which allows you to run out of the box reports, perform drill down analysis, run your own SQL query statements, even schedule the reports as per your requirements. And one more option I want to talk about is the integration with Zoho Analytics. Zoho Analytics is a product from Zoho Corporation and uh, it comes with one user free license and you can immediately integrate Zoho Analytics with Service Test Plus. And once you perform the integration, it offers you a lot of dashboards out of the box and I can quickly run these dashboards to get data from my service desk. 
Now that gives me SLA analysis. I can even construct my own dashboard, share it with my executive members to give them real time insights about uh, the operation of service test. And on top of it, we have integrated Zia with analytics, Zoho analytics. Now you can talk to the application to get information from uh, uh, the analytics plus product. You can talk in plain, simple English and get that information from the application. So these are the six key differentiators I wanted to talk about in Service Desk Plus. It offers you a single enterprise directory, unique Service Desk instances for different departments, a centralized request portal for the end users, built-in catalogs and templates, and automation is available in various layers and various complexities. And our licensing is flexible for different instances. So that's my uh, presentation. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask me now. Thank you very much, Prem. That was great. Yes, we do have a couple of questions for you. Um, the first question is, um, would you be able to integrate Zeha with Microsoft Teams? Uh, yes, we do offer integration with Microsoft Teams. Uh, actually, we offer a chatbot for Microsoft Teams. So you can access the chatbot in the Microsoft Store and get it implemented in your Microsoft Teams product through which you can perform a variety of operations in Service Desk Plus using chat commands in MS Teams. Perfect, lovely, thank you very much. And um, I have another question for you, which is um, with the software dashboard, you said it can do a lot of things. So does the software come with a discovery tool built in? I'm just gonna get to the end of that question. Um, does the software come with a discovery tool built in or are there any integrations required here? All right, so Service Test Plus is offered with a discovery mechanism. So mm -hmm. we have got three different editions of Service Test Plus. The professional enterprise edition comes with asset management with asset discovery. So you can discover different type of assets, network components, SNMP based devices, and get information from these devices into Service Test Plus. As part of this discovery, we also get software information, and that is how we'll be able to give you the number of installed software in your environment and you can match it with your licenses, right? So in Service Test Plus, you can import licenses and manage them within the product and you can match it with the installation and calculate how compliant you are. Fabulous, lovely, thank you. And um, another question for you, can Zeha create a new user in AD? All right, so, uh, yeah, there is a product called AD Manager Plus that is offered by Manage Engine. So once the integration between Service Test Plus and AD Manager Plus is done, it will allow you to create new user accounts right from a service request. For example, if your HR has sent information about a new hire to the IT department, so right from the request page, we can create AD accounts in Service Test Plus uh, in, in your Active Directory. So by getting the information that is provided by the HR team. So everything is done from one tool. So if you'd like to get to see uh, the integration, how the integration works, uh, you can leave a, 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 a email to hello at servicetestplus.com and we'll arrange for a personalized demonstration for you. Okay, lovely, thank you very much. And actually somebody has just asked if you'd get in touch with them directly. So um, after the event today, I'll absolutely share those details with you. Thank you for the person that posted that question. I'll make sure that happens. Sure. Okay, lovely. So um, I think that's the last of the questions we have um, for now. We have some questions for you um, for the Q&A, Prem, which you're gonna join in about 25 minutes. So um, thank you very much for that. And I look forward to seeing you at the Q&A shortly. All right, thank you so much. Jessica. Thanks, Prem.